parts of the world is not as good as what it should be. I mean, in other parts of the world, they only get the best people from Ivy League schools to join the top, top rung media houses from the Washington Post to the New York Times yeah. to the LA Times yeah. to the Times of London. You only get, and the economists, you only, they, they go and single handedly recruit people from Ivy League schools. Right. Because by the time you have a column, it becomes so influential. You become a major celebrity and you're paid um, the top dollar to f for doing that. Right. But if you pay peanuts here, you would get crap. Which is also, the, I mean, because you spoke about Colin, for example. I mean, I know for sure that one of the reasons I refuse to write, and that's not to say that I'm the best that can be, mm -hmm. you know, is because, well, they don't pay you. You know, and if they're not going to pay you, well, we, I mean, what, what happens therefore is you find people who have an agenda taking up columns. So either this person is pushing a personal agenda or the person is completely incompetent and this person is commanding the minds of millions and millions, millions of people. Yes. I mean, that, isn't that grossly irresponsible? Yes, it is. It is. But I think, luckily, I think uh, gradually media houses are beginning to look inwards and are beginning to realize that they cannot go in, continue at this pace. You know, the, the thing about democracy, yes, it takes a while to take root, but um, with democracy, your economy begins to open up. P people's perceptions and the demands, uh, people's requirements and expectations also go up. Mm -hmm. There's a middle class gradually re-emerging, re right. and they'll, they'll demand for better quality of you know, newspapers. They will require better content. They will require better design and everything. So, I mean, recently, I don't know if you've noticed that in the last two days, um, at least in yesterday's and uh, the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday's paper of this day has been carrying an advert. We're, we're trying to I saw recruit, it. I saw yes. that. And the salary, I, I yes. actually put that the salary yeah. is between 5 million and 10 uh, million. Yeah, I I mean, and that is novel in the, in the industry. That is completely novel. We've right. never, I don't know of any media house, even the editors don't earn up to 10 million naira. So for, so, I mean, for this day to realize that if you want the best quality people or if you want to lure back the people who left because right. they were not earning enough, right. then you have to pay them yeah. something. So prior yes. to this time, what were people doing? Living on their beats? And is that journalism? <laughs> I don't know what you would say. Yes, it was. It was. They were basically scrounging and, you know. So, I mean, tough. so how did how, an aberration like yourself, how did you emerge, therefore, out well, of all of that? I've been lucky. I, I've been lucky because I have personally invested a lot, so much in myself. I am a voracious reader. Um, my father used to tell me when I was growing up, really make a man. So I invested so much in buying the right sorts of books. I got to go on a lot of programs abroad, you know training programs abroad. And I was also lucky that I had two um, foreign stringing jobs. So that's augmented my income considerably. Right. Yeah, so... So uh, it is, because I mean, pending the time, good. I mean, we've seen the, we've seen what, I saw the editorial in the papers mm -hmm. for this day. Mm -hmm. We are believing that gradually, you know, as things change in Nigeria, you'll have a different sort of, you know, ownership <coughs> for the media space and all of that. But before then, you know, what then, do you think could be done to find more, imagine every day, you mm. know, in different media spaces, mm. more and more aberrations such mm. as yourself, particularly female aberrations such as yourself? I think they will emerge. I think uh, as long as you see, you see this day has, um, has made the first move and you would see that you would realize other media houses would um, follow suit. I see you here doing the diplomatic thing. No, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? I see you here doing, and I'm, and I'm like, am I going to let her get away with this or not? And why should I? Uh, I think all the other media houses have follow this because they know, like I said, um, with the emerging, uh, re emerging middle class, people are going to start to demand for better quality newspapers. Right. Not just newspapers, magazines. If you noticed in the last one, two years, there have been so many magazines hitting yeah. our streets, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. and they're improving on a daily basis. Right. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it all has to do with the fact that people are realizing that we, we, we no longer have to settle for less. Right. And thankfully, they will take out a lot of the, you know, the less than, um, yes. so, you know. <laughs> but back to Fumi's question, which is how do you encourage the young mm -hmm. uh, 
upcoming or particularly women and particularly in, and like particularly in mm. positions of authority i mean i see it in the electronic media for example a lot of young girls that come want to be tv presenters mm -hmm. and so which i mean there's nothing wrong with oh, that's it. more I, glamorous you know because because <laughs> you know, yeah I mean, you know and i'm thinking what well, more and more women in positions of authority for example for for television you know some of the most powerful people are like writers the editors and so on and so forth who determine what you actually do see yes. mm. you know so at the end of the day the person who's going to say this script looks great this, this script i mean there are some scripts that i'm going to look at no matter how you tell me that this is what happens in society i'm going to tell you that the media is different the media is a forerunner and this is below grade you know, so I'm thinking, is it possible to begin to raise that generation of yes, women? Definitely. And what will it take? Definitely. They're just um, more true.